Hey everybody, what's going on? Papa Gord here, and welcome to another Star Wars The Black Series review, episode five, spectacular. Um, if I knew how to put sparkles and fireworks and stuff in behind me going, psh, 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 just picture that in your brains. Yeah, I don't know, jazz hands, spirit fingers. Oh, I'm gonna cramp up. Anyway, so yeah, episode five. I was looking around as I've, I, I have to contemplate another shelf move as <clears throat> um, the war on shelf real estate continues and uh, the classified line is is uh, is getting ready to take over another shelf. So I was looking at some of the figures and I just kind of was working through getting the Mandalorian, uh, the, uh, the ring world Mando, the newest one, which is now finally a brand new sculpt, which was interesting to see considering how many times they've milked that Mando body, the original one, which wasn't wasn't bad to some degree, but other parts definitely needed a, a an update, which is funny, which also led to this video that honestly, the Mando, like the Mandalorian figures on a whole aren't all that old. Yes, they do share a little bit of, well, here, let's put a pin in that. And I want you to think about this right now. Are you are you okay with a little bit of top and a little bit of bottom? I know I've asked this question before, if you're a top or a bottom, but that was always in reference to opening your boxes if you were a box opener. I always felt that being a bottom was a lot easier because it was one little piece of tape instead of two at least up on the tops. Anyway, this is a slightly different uh, the first figure really that jumped in to mind, and this was going to be just the review on, on, on her, but Bastila Shan, Knights of the Old Republic, love the fact that we finally got more representation and we got it in a pretty big way. We had at least what, three editions this year. So that was excellent and was a female character as well fantastic i do recall in my video saying from the figure from about ooh, i don't know the, the waist up i quite liked from the waist down i absolutely hate i did it, it bugs me honestly that gapping that she had it looks like she's given birth to about, I don't know, at least a dozen like watermelons or something to be walking around with that kind of stance. No, it's not right. They did her so wrong and I'm so upset about it. Like they could have, for instance, used even, you know, used Reva, 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 whatever. But for like Ayla Secura, for, again, she is a, she's like a slender build and then gets this, oh yeah, man, I'm, I am making sure my, my, my bloodline is going to survive for many, many years. Now, uh, which is the other one? Um, wow. The name will pop back into my head. But anyway, uh, you know, I think it works sometimes mixing and matching parts do seem to work on certain figures. Now, you go back and even look at Mando, the very first Mando that we saw on the screen for one episode. And then they automatically jumped into, oh, now he's gonna be a lot more shiny and then eventually super shiny. But again, we were starting to get some of the new technology. We got the butterfly joint. We've got like the pinless joints in the arms. Uh, but mixing and matching, we still had the double joints, right? So we have still had the double jointed knees. We don't have that most of the time anymore. Once in a while, Hasbro's a little sneaky and they do just kind of, I think sometimes 
we're looking for so many other different things that we, we kind of miss when they do kind of throw a little bit of a curve in there. And then you're like, wait a minute. Something doesn't seem quite right about that. And it's a shame. But honestly, if they would have even said, and I know they look at reuse because Ayla is using the exact same boots. It, it's, it's that body. And I know they like to do the reuse bit and, and what have you, but honestly, I think they could have reworked. We've seen some that have like, say the new knees, but uh, maybe not the butterfly joints in yet, or maybe that part's been worked out. And we, again, we're still rocking the, uh, the, 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 you know, the two, the two pins. They, 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 they're gappy. You can see right through both sides, except for where the kneecap is, I can see right through. And that's, that's not right. Looking at other figures, how they've evolved. Like the clone, like the original, like the clone troopers didn't really, I mean, they looked fine. And I think they were a little better than the storm troopers. But again, same thing. We got butterfly joints. I just realized with this now, because this has always been a bone of contention with me of these uh, knee pad and the elbow uh, pads, is that the more often these get pinched in between the armor from the lower and upper leg, they're, they're gonna, you're gonna cut. I know there's some people out there that do cut the straps and I just, I don't buy enough figures to have multiples where I can just yank one off the shelf, go, I'm going to mod them up and it doesn't really matter because I've got two or four or however many on the shelf. I can't, I can't buy like that anymore and I haven't for quite a while, but they've made them now that they float. So they're not, the knee ones aren't glued down. So Hasbro, good on you. Fix the elbows now. Maybe try putting one out there or see how it works with not gluing this one down. But just that alone, uh, I, I've never had an issue when they've gone to that new knee. I don't need them to be able to kick themselves in their lower back or maybe they've got longer legs and they can touch the back of their heads. I don't need it. I really don't. Uh, that works just fine for me. Very, very well. You look at the stormtroopers. You go from original. I've got most of my originals packed up now, but the thing that they're most famous for are getting those bowed legs. So yes, it's an easy fix, but to go from this to this, this you know, and not to say that this doesn't isn't as good anymore, but for the line to grow and for the line to last. Yeah, I don't know how much more, I shouldn't say that because there's probably a lot more that they could probably do with the figures that this is might already be considered maybe a little outdated. It's a little weird, but you know, that's just how it goes. Looking back at the original, uh, like the, the original, well, Ray wasn't too bad. No, I'm sorry, not Ray. I was thinking uh, Jin, but like the original, uh, Oh, episode seven figures, not great, not great. Like some of those had a very porcelain doll look to them. And now we're getting all this like, you know, face realism and, and what have you, but just to go, and I still love the looks of these guys. I do have a couple that I'm gonna keep out and kind of mix in someplace, but Hasbro, when they finally made the move, because in all honesty, I would have tried getting this thing out maybe a little bit quicker. Cause like I'm all in. If this if they were gonna keep going with this and and with all the different colors like that, uh, like some of those new gaming like the newer gaming great styles, I can't wait to see that being transitioned onto the new bodies. I really hope they start doing that and not just keep using the old mold to go, hey, this guy's got blue paint on him, or this guy uh, kind of, sort of, is a little translucent -y or something. But, again, you can see back in, back when they actually had the pins. Like, this is going old school right here. Boom, boom. Don't all have that anymore. So, his range is far better than this. This looks like a little, this looks like a guy in a suit of armor. This one, not as much, but it's not, 
it's not bad. What else? Oh, Django Fett body. Oh man, oh man, that one's just oh, not good. So here, we'll just look at uh, at Vizsla here. They've they've used this body. So we've had Django done twice, Gaming Great regular line. We've had the Maldalorian, the Loyalist, and him. So five. So they've used this five times. I honestly think this should have been on the new Mando bot. Not the Mandalorian, but use the uh, the Axe Woves or the Mandalorian Fleet Commander or just the Night Watch. Death Watch. Night Watch. Oh my god. You guys know. Just the generic new Mandalorian Trooper. Just use that as the base body now. And... Honestly, you just put an, an overpiece on it, you could have bulked them out a little bit more, and we wouldn't have had to suffer for these horrible bloody wires again. The Space Crocs, yet again, probably the worst foot in, I think, the entire line. Um, you know, just, oh, it's not, it's not a pretty figure. I love the, 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 the reused bits for doing the backpack. We get a helmet that's got some slight updates. We get the, the dark saber again. We get the head sculpt. You know what? Again, throw that on. And that's it. Just retire. This should be a retirement body now. See you later. Stormtroopers, original ones. Unless we see one come back out in the gaming grades again, it looks like the Stormtrooper body, the original, looks like it's retired. Uh, the female form seems to be maybe where they're having the, the biggest issue. I look at figures like Padme. Um, overall, not a bad figure. The shawl does make her a little weighty in the back a bit, but overall, not horrible. Jaina Solo, that's an older style body, so uh, Afra uses it. I think that one blends really well. I think it's fine with the double joints or the double pins in the knees. And it just, it seems to work oh, okay, like really okay. Bastila does not, Bastila and, the, and yeah, Ayla do not benefit at all from being on bodies uh, like this. This this is unfortunate. I mean, honestly, I know it's like whistling Dixie at this point to go, man, Hasbro, like when are you, like, Look how long it took them to take something as easy as making a size change to go from this to this. A decade. You know, Black Series has been around 10 years. Uh, so 10 years, been some amazing upgrades. And I've, I've been happy to have been around for half the, at least the last five years. So I've seen the transition from pretty much all the articulation points. I can't wait to see if that ball joint wrist is gonna be a standard thing or if that's gonna be just a slow roll. Uh, Hera's got it. Honestly, that new Mando, uh, man, if it would've had, if it would've had that, that happening on there, I, I may have, uh, anyway, I'm not saying anything, but solid, solid figure. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what else will be next. Drop down shoulders possibly up and down just even give it the more more of that range but is that going to come at a, a, a higher cost uh in the future but yeah i think we're to the point now if we've if we've had this line for 10 years i think it's time to really start looking at more of the older articulation bodies that they've used a lot i think they've got their money's worth out of them you know, start to transition now. I mean, you're putting out, you know, you're putting more figures out like this. You've got this, Apo just came out very recently. They're the exact same body, just with different paint apps and slightly different uh, facial paints or what have you, but they both have the new floating knees, like the, the knee pads or what whatnot. So yeah, there there you go. That's an easy switch. Stormtroopers to go from just the regular ones to the remnant ones where they get a little bit of a dirt spray and uh, you know some serious uh, 
corrosion issue going on there where we've got like the uh the artillery trooper and the flame trooper and whatever else i mean the biker scout as weird as it is and he that figure's got such odd articulation points with some of the things but it works it still works as much as i would love to see an updated more sleeker because he is boxy and he definitely with all that padding that he's got it, it kills his mid-range articulation i'd love to see an updated uh biker scout for sure that would be amazing we just saw him archived fairly recently we've seen that done also in the carbonized line very recently as well so i honestly really think yeah maybe the females we're going to see maybe a little bit more reuse with the lower extremities because maybe it'll match but i'd have no idea but yeah this stuff like this can't happen um i'd love to figure out what to do but i maybe i'll look up and see some other costumes maybe i'll be able to get away and uh just take the head and stuff and then just put it onto a, a different body and maybe i'll who knows but anyway um yeah this is the review uh spectacular so if i've missed any other glaring reuse figures let me know down in the comments i'm i'm honestly i'm trying to think of it right now as as i'm trying to end this off but i think for the most part that's it honestly i could bring up how kind of weird it is where we finally get like bodhi for rogue one and he's we're talking updated got the face and then of course we get the updated rogue one or the refacing but they all have old articulation points and they're just as bad as they were when they're original because they are original with just a better face app to them some have benefited greatly uh there's a couple i don't think really even needed it but th there's also that as well like does that really bother you do you even think about that honestly if you're an inbox collector i guess it doesn't matter whatsoever but as far as in or out of box i don't know let me know um like i said for the most part unless it's something like this that is at the front of a shelf because honestly she's one of the smaller figures in the knights of the old republic figures that i have in my in the one area so i need to have her front and center but i don't focus on the figure on a whole i just figure on the whew, man you could drive a bus through that gap i don't know if that's something that ladies are proud of i i couldn't tell you i'm not one of them uh i apologize to any ladies who see this for my ignorance um i'll i'll make sure to to, to let my wife know i said that and i'll probably get a slap for all of you so you're welcome but uh but yeah again spectacular comment share like subscribe all that usual youtube mumbo jumbo uh, the next review will be shorter, I will tell you that much, because we did cover a few. I'm just going to label that for for Bastila as the review, or that's what it's going to count more so for her. But as far as like the troopers and so on and so forth, you'll see them again. But anyways, everyone, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time. I already did the comment thing, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, later, eh?